Breathe House is an entry from the USA and UK consisting of architects, engineers, doctors and architecture students. At the heart of Breathe House is the concept of sustainable health and housing. It considers as its key design elements the use of natural light and ventilation, access to clean water and independent renewable energy, and the combination of passive environmental systems with modest active ventilation. The design engages the involvement of regional building industries with the intention of expanding the local building trades and improving the overall building stock in the area. The use of local materials and the simplicity of construction made Breathe House a strong proposal. The judges were particularly impressed with the user's guide to construction and the possibility of employing local, less skilled but supervised building workers. The addition of composting toilets, creation of excellent ventilation and a design that considers the landscape complete the features that made this health and environment conscious design a winner. Mason Canopy is an entry from architects in the USA. Their idea behind Mason Canopy was to offer a sanctuary to heal the body and spirit. The open plan of this home creates a protected yet open place from which to engage new neighbours and build new friendships. Judges described Mason Canopy as a low-tech, user-friendly design using recognisable and familiar building technologies. In this design, cooking and communal areas are separated, maximising cross-ventilation and insect screens acknowledge the prevalence of vector-borne diseases. Additionally, the rainwater harvesting and storage facility and the sanitation and waste management technologies can be easily managed and adapted. Shutter Dwelling is an entry from Italy consisting of architects, engineers and a physician and immunologist. Shutter Dwelling focuses on using the functional distribution of space to facilitate the interaction of patients with other occupants. It uses the separation of the bedroom and the connected bathrooms from other spaces to limit the mixture of infected and clean air flows and emphasises the use of the kitchen as a social space. The judges were particularly impressed by the extent to which this design blends with Haitian culture and landscape. The design team have achieved this by making use of local building practices such as the concrete block walling and timber framing and cladding. Meanwhile, key additions such as steel reinforcement and angling offer more protection and higher performance. Bois Latat is an entry from the USA consisting of architects, public health specialists, doctors, structural engineers, sustainability consultants and horticulturalists. The defining features of Bois Latat is a focus on communal planning and lifestyle. At the heart of its spirit is the use of local materials and building practices wherever possible, with the expense of construction and development finding its way back into the local economy. The dwelling will utilise all available and practical sustainable methods to promote healthy, dignified living. The addition of rainwater harvesting, composting toilets and the efficient use of energy and resources led the judges to describe it as an elegant evolution of familiar, simple housing typologies. For the site inhabitants, the design team envisions a transformation, a restoration from stigma and struggle, the creation of a self-sufficient environment and becoming contributors to the marketplace and the world beyond. Cycle House is an entry from the Dominican Republic, consisting of architects and engineers. Cycle House revolves around the idea of open and closed spaces that promote and facilitate a healthy lifestyle. The judges were impressed by the innovative application of this simple but effective theme. The design defines two types of spaces, solid spaces, rooms and bathrooms, which are the only completely closed structures and independent of the house and open spaces which are lined with blinds and sliding screen doors. Additionally, four green spaces are to be planted with medicinal herbs to help patients with the preparation of tisanas or aromatherapy. 
Stationary bicycles in the cycle house also generate electricity and are able to be detached to be used for local transportation.